the Western culture and values that brought forth Christianity in the founding documents are being called evil and racist. I'm reminded of the tyranny of communist China, where your money is legally stolen and then used in government schools to indoctrinate children against their parents. As long as you Marxists push your unconstitutional agenda on my child, she will not be returning back to Loudoun County schools. Her child's not going to go back. She's going to pull her out. A heated scene in Loudoun County, Virginia, where hundreds of parents pushed back against the school board over their woke agenda. Yeah, we've been talking about this, but also we're seeing a lot of this. Author Douglas Murray is here to react. Douglas, what's your view of what's happening right now in America? One of the symptoms of the pandemic is parents saw what the kids were learning and they're reacting. That's right. CRT, uh, like a lot of the transgender uh, ideology, is designed to divide. So that's what it's meant to do. Uh, the transgender ideology stuff is how dare you say that the big beefy guy can't enter the women's weightlifting competition and trounce all of the women? Who are you to say he shouldn't do that, you bigot? And the CRT agenda is a version of the same thing. It says, uh, why can't we talk about uh, problematizing whiteness? Uh, who are you to object to that, you bigot? It's meant to divide. And so parents are right to call this out. They are right to say that you cannot talk about, for instance, white children as if they are a problem, any more than you should be able to talk about black children as if they're a problem. The people pushing this stuff have been trying to divide America. And it's absolutely right that American parents should take any opportunity they can to say, no, we will not allow you to do this. So Brian interviewed some of the folks that were there at the meeting. Watch this, Douglas. We are trying to recall the school board. Uh, six members out of eight or nine members are we're trying to recall because if we don't, uh, this, these radical policies will not change. Last night proved that this school board, and in particular Brenda Sheridan, have a real problem with the First Amendment, all the way from religious expression, freedom of conscience, to freedom of speech. We do not want to co-parent with our government. We want to be able to instill beliefs and instill our faith in our children without hesitation. So they can mute our mics, they can arrest us, they can kick us off of public property. We're not going to stop. Good for them for speaking up, Douglas, but what do you do? The school board has all the power. Uh, well, they have some power. They don't have all of it. And, uh, you know, God bless these parents uh, for speaking up. Everybody has to use their voice to get, uh, about this stuff. Uh, the CRT agenda is not just intended to divide people. It's intended to demonize people. It demonizes white children. It claims that black people who don't follow a far-left Marxist agenda have absorbed whiteness. We can't have this. America can't have this. So every opportunity that a parent has to stand up against this, go for the school governor's board, go for a lot of them, identify them, call them out, use your voice. This is exactly what America is yeah, good at. You it's don't, exactly the you best You don't have to reelect them down the road, but they're making decisions for what happens in the fall after the pandemic and when kids go back to school. And if the entire board is for critical race theory and they're going to vote to decide if it gets in the school, and they told that mom that if the teachers, they told, the teachers were told, if you don't teach this, you'll get fired. You know, I'm afraid it's some time for some civic courage. For teachers who are being told that to walk, for parents who are being told that to walk, it's the officials at the school that are the problem. It's them that have to be uh, um, called out on this. It's them that has to be criticized. And the parents and others should know that they are in the right. Right is on their side. It is a racist agenda that CRT is pushing. And I just hope that as many people as possible realize they need to have the courage to call this out, vote with their feet, walk away from these neo-racists. Yeah, it's story with the 1619 Project. There's been forces out there pushing this, and I think people are just waking up to it. Douglas Murray, thanks so much.